Hey Vikes, today we'll be taking a look at a new episode of Sagas. As well as some information about the orchestra winter concert tonight. I'm Darren. And I'm Mason. And your news starts now. Saga has a new episode airing tonight. The theme is joy. Hey Vikes, welcome back to the last episode of Sagas for this semester. The theme for this show is joy. Joy has a different meaning for everyone. In this show, we will explore a student who found joy in an unexpected place, a group that is trying to spread joy during the season, and a new addition to the high school. Sagas will be up on SEMANews.com at 7.30. The Life Drawing Night is tonight in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Tomorrow during seminar is the last day the Writing Center will be open this semester. During lunch tomorrow, the Norris Nook will be open. There will be a meeting for Key Club's Battle of the Band tomorrow at 3.15 in room E3. Ali will tell you more about it tomorrow. FCA is having a brain break Monday after school in the library starting at 3.30. There will be hot cocoa, treats, and a movie. KSNT is having a Toys for Tots drive. If you're like me and have a bunch of action figures you no longer need, think about donating some of them. Also, the speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles an hour. Going over could land you a ticket. Starting January 7th, there will be a second chance breakfast for freshmen who didn't eat breakfast before school. That's it for announcements. I'll see you back here for sports after this quick commercial break. Have you heard about the ugly Christmas sweater dance? What? Tell me more! December 14th, in the Commons, 9.30 p.m. after the game, and the entry fee is $5. Whoa, don't know how I got this, but I guess I'm ready for the dance. Attention! 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 Calling all bands! All bands interested in competing in the Battle of the Bands! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! Come one, come all! Meet in Mr. Cromie's room at 310. What is this place? It's the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling like that? Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. Okay. It's time for the announcement. Okay, guys. Santa's coming at 10 a.m. Santa? Santa? Oh my gosh! Donate toys for KSNT Toys for Tots and bring them to the studio by Tuesday, December 18th. All right, who's excited for the home basketball games tomorrow? If you want people to know how excited you are, you'll definitely want to pick up a pair of boys' basketball socks in room 917. Also, the theme for the game is Christmas, so throw on a Santa hat and ho-ho-ho our bikes to victory. And while you're there, stop by the History Day table to enter the raffle for a $50 gift card to Petro Deli. Also, throw on an ugly sweater, because right afterwards is the ugly sweater dance. The wrestling team lost their home game 52-24, it's still early in the season, so we'll see how they progress. That wraps it up for sports. Let's see how Josh is doing. I'm doing great, Mason, and I hope all of you are having a great week so far. There was a little bit of drizzle around this morning, but the big story for the rest of the day is the very cold temperatures. These are wind chills. So along with those north winds, wind chills through the evening hours will be in the 30s, but 20s for tomorrow morning. So while this morning wasn't all too bad temperature-wise, it is going to be a chilly start for your Friday. And as we take a look at the weekend forecast, 
Mostly sunny skies continue. A little breezy on Friday. High pressure moves in for Saturday, leaving us with some pretty light winds for Wednesday or Sunday. So it should be a great weekend to get out and enjoy the weather. And checking out the seven day forecast, that nice weather continues all the way into the middle part of next week. Highs in the upper 40s and low 50s with minimal chances for precipitation. Now, Darren and Mason, back to you. The Winter Orchestra concert is tonight. We went and talked to Miss Sturbins to find out more. We caught up with Miss Sturbins to learn more about the upcoming orchestra concert. Um, we have our orchestra concert coming up December 13th at 7 p.m. and we're going to be playing a bunch of winter songs. Um, we're going to be playing Christmas Eve Sarajevo by Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which is going to be really fun. And this is including the 7th, 8th, and then high school orchestras. We've been working on this for, I'd say, about a month and a half so far. Um, we began working on it pretty much right after our concert in October. Well, they've been working really, really hard, and I gave them harder music than our first concert, so we've been working on a lot of notes, getting them in tune, um, and working together as a unit. So they've been doing a really good job at working on all of those things. If you like baked goods, punch, and amazing music, this orchestra concert might just be the one for you. Admissions are free. Um, it doesn't cost anything to come see the concert, but we do have a reception after the concert with cookies, punch, um, and we're going to have a raffle ticket to win a TV if anyone's interested in doing that. That's all we have. Make sure to go see the orchestra concert to support your fellow Vikes. The orchestra concert is at 7 in the high school auditorium. That's going to be a wrap up for us today, Vikes. We'll see you back here for the annual recap. Until then, Vikes, stay classy.